Sleepy Hollow Farms, we raise pumpkins of various sizes, large to small. We have gourds, um, large and small decorative corn, squash, three different varieties, four different varieties of squash, and uh, birdhouse gourds, and we provide uh, straw and hay bales and corn bundles. I like the red wheelbarrows. I'm gonna go with the good old black one over there. I wonder how much this one's gonna cost. It's a 15 pound one. Maybe it'll be like five bucks. We sell our pumpkins on size. Uh, one through ten dollars currently is, is kind of a combination of what how much they weigh and uh, that seems to work pretty well because we can get people th in and out of here pretty quick without having to weigh each individual pumpkin and uh, the prices are marked on the rest of our produce uh, we do have some uh, this seems like many years for families that br bring their children and now we're to the point where people that came here as children are now bringing their kids so that's kind of the fun part of the pumpkin patch Uh, the pumpkin patch season starts in uh, early May. We plow the fields and uh, plant the seed towards the end of May. And then uh, have to cultivate for weeds. And then if it doesn't rain, we have to irrigate the pumpkins, move pipe. Someone like had that pumpkin. They had like, they covered it and they just had like, the insides like coming out of the mouth. So it looked like it threw up. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> We've had, we got a really nice mix of pumpkins this year. I'd had a pretty good response with people looking at them and at the harvest. Uh, there's a lot more to it than just, you know, some people say, oh, just let this, the volunteer seeds come up every year and do nothing. But uh, we buy new seed. Uh, there's many different varieties and hybrids, and uh, the pumpkin seed that you plant will dictate what size pumpkin you get. If you, you know, there's small size varieties and large size varieties. Everybody wants bigger pumpkins. They're all looking for the 30 to 40 pound pumpkin, and uh, different we got one with a larger stem this year which was a new variety with having all the accessories for your you know the straw bale and the corn bundles and people you know get the gourds and you know we have everything that takes to put together a nice Halloween display and uh, that seems to work out pretty well what else would you like to know <laughs> scarecrows help to keep those darn tootin pesky birds away but is there a problem with those pesky pumpkin patch vandals we do have a certain amount of uh, pumpkin uh, theft in the evenings on the weekends um, it's people that want to steal pumpkins I mean if they need a pumpkin that bad that's fine but when they go and wreck the neighbors mailboxes or drop them off the bridges that's my biggest concern about uh, people stealing pumpkins and uh, I haven't really found an effective way to deter that yet have you tried a slingshot a BB gun French poodle Doberman pincher shotgun alligator claymore mine heat seeking missiles chemical agents or a plain old barbed wire fence yeah <laughs> you can't do that so other than other than trying to get the sheriff to come by more often there's not much you can do about uh, vandalism and pumpkin theft and just try and catch them I guess hey everybody check out these pumpkins cannibal Sleepy Hollow Farms is located three and a half miles south of St. Augusta on County Road 7. Uh, real, we have a large sign by the County Road 7. You can, uh, pretty uh, easy to find our place. Our telephone number is 251-5112.